Hello parents, thank you for joining me for the 2020 Winter Soccer Program. My name is Isaiah Rojas and this is my contact information right here. What I want to do today is just spend some time with you guys and kind of review what to expect this season, go over some details and dates and information. That way you guys show up on opening day informed and ready to go. So let's jump right into it. Before we get into any of the details, I want to make sure I first touch on the values, roles, and expectations of our program. So as you know, hopefully, I-9 Sports is a recreational league, and our whole focus is on providing a fun, safe, and recreational sportsmanship-based program for our kids. So um, we understand that we're working with 3- to 10-year-olds. For many of you guys, this is your first sport ever, first time playing. And so our main objective is for the kids to enjoy themselves. Right now, 70% of kids are dropping out of sports by the age of 13, and the number one reason that they give is just sports aren't fun anymore. And so we want to do everything that we can to make sure that the kids are enjoying themselves. They're learning and developing socially, physically, and mentally as well, but just enjoying the, the process of, of playing, learning, and, and uh, being out on the field. So uh, as adults, we all have roles to play to make sure that this happens. So as a parent, you're there to support your kids using encouraging positive words and actions. So we ask our parents to be there to support our, uh, their kids on both teams, uh, to show up on time, ready to go, and to be present the entire time. Coaches will be there to teach sportsmanship by being fun, supportive, and positive role models. We ask our coaches to have a game, game plan each and every week, whether it's creating their practice plan for themselves or using the practice plans that we provide for our coaches. We want to make sure that they're there on time, prepared, and ready to execute a fun experience for our players. And our staff will be there every single week to promote fair play through safe, organized, and fun environment. So we'll have two staff uh, available to you guys at all times, if not more. But each field will have our own sports coordinator. So this, this staff person is there responsible to help with the instruction, coaching, and officiating the games. And then you also have a site manager that's on the check at the check-in table that will be there to oversee operations. Um, so our expectation is for your kids to have fun learning about teamwork and sportsmanship through good instruction and role, model, role modeling, all the while building self-confidence and making new friends and great sports memories. So uh, some preseason notes to kind of keep track of. Um, Coach's Clinic is going to be on the 15th, which is next Wednesday at 7 p.m. at Jungle Joe's in Frisco. It should be about a 30 to 45 minute meeting. We ask that all coaches please attend this meeting, especially if you're a first time coach, but whether it's first time or, or 10th time, uh, we ask that all coaches, head coaches, volunteers, team parents, please show up to that meeting. And if you're a parent who's interested, you're more than welcome to attend as well, and kids are more than welcome to attend with you. Um, one thing I want to make sure we go over with you guys is a rainout procedure. So obviously Texas weather is very unpredictable and especially in the winter season. So make sure you do know the process that we deal with any inclement weather. So the first thing that we do is uh, an hour to an hour and a half before every game of the season, we'll update the weather hotline, letting you guys know if games are on or games are being canceled for whatever reason. If games are canceled, we update the hotline, we email all the parents, we update the website, and then we call all the coaches. So usually with those four things, you get the message that uh, we're not playing that day for whatever reason. Um, some equipment that you need for the season, soccer cleats or athletic shoes, uh, definitely recommended for the season. Soccer socks can be any color. The kids' jerseys are going to be a red and blue reversible jersey, so if you want to match with those, that's great. Um, shorts or athletic pants, I definitely recommend pants during this time of the year. Shin guards are required to play. And whether you wear these over your pants or under the pants, does not matter. We just want to make sure the kids are protected because a kick to the shin in any weather is not fun, but especially when it's cold outside. Um, mouth guards uh, are purchased on site. These are recommended but not required. And if you want to have your own personal soccer ball, again, recommended but not required. We provide these for you guys out the field. Uh, and a water bottle for sure. Uh, team equipment bags include six to eight soccer balls and six cones, and these will be present at the field for every team to use every single week. So if you don't want to buy a, a soccer ball for your kid, not to worry at all. Like I said, we'll have six to eight balls per team at the field for you guys to use each and every week. Uh, on opening day is January 19th. Uh, so the staff will do a quick introduction meeting, and as you can see here on a little map, we have parking in the front and parking on the sides at Clark Middle School, and this open area is where we play our games. So field two for soccer will be right in the middle. So when you come in, check in at the, at the check-in table on opening day, and right around the field or right on the field, we'll have our opening day meeting. Um, so we'll, we'll basically go over a quick introduction meeting, get you guys introduced to the staff and the coaches, and then at that point, we'll pass out the jersey bags 
uh, for all the coaches as well as the coaches envelope. Um, and the coaches envelope will have resources, welcome booklets for all the parents and some information for you guys, for your team. Um, the team names are already chosen, so you don't have to worry about choosing a team name. Uh, that's something that we uh, kind of scrapped going forward. So we implemented a, a new policy now with the team names. So each season will have a different theme. This theme for this season is animals. So all of our team names are, are different animals. Some are related to the sports. Some are just fun animals uh, that your kids will be named after for their team. Um, so once the team name is or the, the team meeting is done, the jerseys are on, everyone's on the same page, everything's ready to go. At that point, we'll have a, a, a 30 to 40 minute practice, and then we'll play a 30 to 40 minute game right after that. So each team uh, for a soccer field like this, for example, one team will practice on one half of the field, the other team on the other half, and then we'll play the game on the field right there, right after that. So a couple of notes to remember on opening day. Please try to be there five, ten minutes early. That way you do attend the meeting. We go over some great information for you guys on that day. And uh, it's, it's good to be there present throughout the whole process. During the team meeting, if um, you guys are going to be missing a game or if you're a coach that's going to be missing, make sure you uh, make your parents aware of that. As well as if your kid has any allergies, if you haven't sent an email to your coach already, make sure you do announce that on opening day. That way parents don't show up with something that your kids are allergic to and they can't participate in snacks. We all know our kids love snack time, and uh, it would be you know kind of sad if your kids are allergic to peanuts, for example, and, and peanut butter jelly sandwiches are on the snack menu for the first four weeks, and just they just can't participate in that. So make sure you make your parents aware of that for for, the, for their kids to be able to participate in snacks, and also just for safety reasons, of course. And then come prepared and willing to assist your child if needed. Opening day can be a little bit hectic and busy and a little more stressful for our kids if this is their first time playing or you know just playing with a whole new group. So if you see that your kid needs a little bit extra attention, help, uh, direction, please be willing to get out on the field and assist and, and support our coaches and staff if that's necessary. A uh, quick overview of the program. So kids are placed on teams based on balancing the age, white, age height, weight, skill, and request for each team. Our sports coordinators will be there as volunteer coaches to provide instruction, support, and officiate the games. We also do uh, have parent volunteers that will be assisting as well, but most of our teams will be led by our sports coordinators. Um, and we have three divisions uh, for this season, and actually this should be updated. That should be Tykes, Pee Wee, and Junior Divisions, each divided by different age groups, three to four-year-olds, four to seven-year-olds, uh, five to seven-year-olds, and then eight to ten. Practice will be for 30 to 40 minutes, and again, a game will be played right after that. So example of a typical day will be you guys get to the field, check in at the table, or if you're not a, if you're a coach, you're checking at the I-9 sports table to get your coach's clipboard um, with your roster and schedule and practice plan and sportsmanship medal, and then you head out to the field. If you're a parent, you can just head straight out to the field. Unless you have any questions, obviously, you can stop by the table. But if you don't have any questions, you can head straight out to the field and start the practice as soon as the game before you guys is done. But uh, once you guys get there, you guys will practice with your team uh, for that 30 to 40 minutes. Once the game practice is done, we'll have a quick water break, get things ready for the game. Our refs will uh, officiate the game. After the game is done, we'll do uh, team handshakes. We'll have a, 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 um, a parent huddle, snacks, and sportsmanship medals to be distributed. And then obviously, if you could win the sportsmanship medal that week, you can go by the table and pick up the Sportsmanship Award winner sign to proudly display in front of your house for all your neighbors to be envious of. <laughs> so um, that's basically the typical day that you guys will, will have each and every week. Uh, so a couple quick notes on awards and sportsmanship. So during the regular season, try to be there at least five, 10 minutes early. That way you guys get there on time. Kids can get their, their shoes or cleats on and they, they can participate in the full practice. Um, each team will have a half of a field to have their practice on. Um, so on your schedule, it says game time and arrival time at the, and practice time to be at the same time. And basically what that means is if you're scheduled to be there at 12.15, then that means at 12.15 is when we start the game, or the practice, I'm sorry, and then the game will start at 12.30 or 12.45, depending on your age group. So the practice time and the game time are listed at the same time because before we used to have, a, you know, for example, a 12 o'clock practice time and a 12.30 game, and we'd have a lot of parents showing up only for the game or showing up midway through the practice. And so we definitely want to encourage you guys to participate for the whole time. So that's why now we list the practice time and the game time at the same time. So that way you guys show up and are able to participate throughout the whole practice and the full game. So if you're confused by the fact that it says, you know, hey, the game time and the, and the, and the practice time are listed at the same time, 
what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to show up, you know, 30 minutes before the arrival time? No, just listen, just go by the schedule and then we'll let you know when it's time to start the game. Um, awards throughout the season, we have a sportsmanship award. So uh, each week we emphasize a different sportsmanship trait to not only work on the, um, the skills and the techniques of soccer, but also to encourage um, and teach on the sportsmanship traits. And then at the end of the game, the coach will hand out a medal or two to the child who best exemplified the sportsmanship trait that week. So it's a great way to build a connection and to reward not only the, the performance on the field, but also the attitude, the effort that they're displaying while they're out there as well. And then throughout the season, each child will make sure, will ensure that each child gets one of those sportsmanship medals throughout the season. And at the, and the last day of the season, we have our end of season awards that we will um, have an awards presentation for for all of our kids. Um, a couple of safety and sportsmanship notes, if your kid ever gets injured, kicked, head injury, arm, leg, anything like that, if there's a concern about uh, you know, a long-term effect or you know, the seriousness of an injury, we have a very simple process of if in doubt, sit him out. It's just a way to say, hey, if we're not sure if the kid's okay, we're not going to play him no matter what the game is or how important it is or what's going on. We want to make sure the kids are taken care of first, especially if it's a head-related injury, you know, head, you know, head-to-head collision or something like that, for example. Um, sportsmanship is expected by everyone that includes our parents and spectators any inappropriate language or behavior will not be tolerated we've never had issues like that with i9 sports soccer before but we want to make sure that we always emphasize that um, you know this is a recreational league we want our kids to have fun and it's never fun if parents or coaches are you know are yelling or screaming at each other or, or you know screaming from the sidelines at at someone else let's make sure that we're always being supportive and encouraging while we're out there so how we do that is always emphasizing the effort and attitude of our players over the outcome of the game and the performance on the field because those things will come and go sometimes a win sometimes a lose sometimes a score two goals sometimes a score and score none but if the effort and attitude is there and is positive then that's what we want to make sure we're always emphasizing so a couple of dates to remember, um, opening day is the 19th. Picture day is February 9th. That's listed on your schedule. Uh, we sent out a parent survey in the fourth week of the season. And then the season finale is set to be February 23rd. If we have any cancellations due to weather, um, we will be making up those games on either March 1st or March 8th. So make sure you mark those dates on your calendar. So some resources to make sure that you guys are aware of um, is the i9sports.com website. So every registered parent has a login and their own i9sports.com account. So how you access this is by going on your phone or your tablet or computer. You'll print in your email address and password that you created. If you have not created one, you can go ahead and create one then. And then you'll log in. You'll go under my account tab if you're a parent. If you're a coach, you'll go under the coaches tab and click on my schedule um, there. And it has all the information that you need. And we'll show you kind of what that looks like. So if you have multiple children playing, you'll see a tab for each. If you only have one, you'll see one tab. And this is an example of a football schedule, but the exact same format for basketball for soccer. And you'll see um, <clears throat> the dates, the practice time, arrival times, game information, the directions to the location where we're playing at, um, the game field, opponents, what color jersey you're wearing that day because their jerseys are reversible. So one day you might be the red team, one day you might be the blue team. And then who signed up for snacks that week? So it's a very simple process to sign up for snacks. You'll click on the date that you want, and then a little box will pop up, and you'll click on your name, click Submit. Now you're signed up for snacks. And I would definitely recommend um, for all of our teams, we have, I think it's like six to eight kids per team right now. So I would recommend getting anywhere, anywhere between eight to ten snacks per team. That way you always have one or two extras in case, you know, um, there's a sibling you want to pass it along to or a coach, coaches, staff love getting snacks. Even though we're adults, uh, we definitely do love a snack out there for working hard, cheering on our and uh, cheering on our players while they're out there. Oops, I moved the screen there. Um, so another resource that we provide for you guys is every Wednesday, every Thursday afternoon, we send out a newsletter to you guys that has tons of information, a sportsmanship trade of the week, coach of the week, um, game day pictures and videos, any schedule or league changes, uh, picture day information, order forms, um, the picture day schedule, promotions, snack ideas, special events. Lots and lots of information is on there that's going to prepare you for the weekend ahead. So make sure you do um, check out that uh, email every single week. On, that's going to be sent out to you guys on Thursday. 
All right. Um, besides that, obviously, if you have any questions, issues, or concerns, please let our staff know. We have a site manager on site at all times, as well as a sports coordinator who should be on your field throughout the entire practice and game. So they can help you guys out with that. Um, and also, whether it's something that's you know that's going wrong that we can do to improve the program, let us know about those things. But obviously, of course, if there's something that you're really enjoying, whether it's a, a coach or the staff person, let us know what we're doing great. We love hearing those things as well. On a final note, um, we do still have available spots for the soccer program for um, all our divisions. So if you have a friend that you want to refer to join and play with your kids, I definitely want to encourage that. As a bonus, you get a $10 referral bonus for every new child that you refer, and there's no limit. So if you refer 10 kids, 100 bucks towards your next registration, and you can do that every single season. And like I mentioned before, you know the the reason, one of the biggest reasons that kids say that they have that they that sports is fun for them is they love playing with their friends. So um, keep it fun and keep them involved by you know inviting a friend, sibling, a neighbor, relative to play with them, and we can always put them on the same team together. Uh, make sure you do like us on Facebook and Instagram. You can look at i9 Sports Frisco on either of those two platforms and follow us there to get some fun content videos and pictures of your kids. Um, we love getting pictures from parents, and we'll put those on the Facebook and social media pages to share those as well. Always great to see them on there. And then one last uh, shout out to our business partners who support us. I9 Sports is uh, supported by the Frisco Chamber of Commerce, which we are members of, as well as Jump Zone in Frisco and Jungle Joe's. So make sure we do uh, support those guys when you guys are out there. Great, Two great locations for um, team parties, birthdays, and events, and just to get the kids to run around and get some energy out, especially during the winter season when they're all cooped up inside. All right, guys, so if you have any questions about our upcoming season, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, this is a very busy time of the year for us as we're getting ready for the start of the season, so it might take me an extra day to get back to an email or phone call, but I will return every, e every email and phone call as fast as I can. I'll be happy to help you guys out there. So once again, thank you for joining us for this season. We look forward to seeing you guys out in the field very soon. Talk to you soon.